1997 on a P Rover 216 convertible in purple 1600 petrol engine five speed manual this one with the electric working roof which we're going to show you at the end of the video james will jump in we'll have an engine start up and we'll get the roof going up and down uh, and i'll show you the condition of that as well nice usable daily modern classic this one up the bonnet all nice and straight we'll have got a few stone chips the paint works out of things on the bonnet but it's all sort of one shade of purple if that makes sense i know it changes colour as you go around but it's all nice and fresh few stone chips of the bonnet and the odd surface scratch here and there where it's been washed lights are lovely and clear on both sides grills all good nice and tidy on the right side of things but the corner left hand side no scuffs the plastics are all good as well but we have got some stone chips across the front bumper in places right hand side again nice and tidy few little marks a very very light scuff on the front right hand side and again some stone chips there and the plastics unmarked nice and tidy on the plastics as we come up the front driver's wing, a few little den dings and dents at the back of the wing there. A little bit of a scuff and a tiny little bubble just coming through on the front of the wing. Nice and tidy around the arch as we go down. There's a few more stone chips down the lower half. You can clearly see that there on the video. And another dent here on the front of the driver's door. As you come down the driver's door again, another car park and dent just there and a slightly heavier scratch. No major scratching around the handle itself. A little bit of paint flake in the corner. But apart from that, all nice and presentable. Down the driver's side wing wear a cap. Colour coded and uncracked. Come down the right hand side rear quarter. All nice and presentable again. Very usable this one. The arch itself got some stone chips. And a tiny, tiny little bit of sort of matte paint at the back. With a little bit of bubbling behind it. A few more stone chips down the quarter. Lower sill section tiny tiny little bit there come round the arch onto the lower plastics on the rear bumper i've got a few more little stone chips at the back of the right hand side rear wheel the corner itself a little bit of a scuff on the corner lights are lovely and clear on the right hand side plastics again all nice and black across the back bumper left hand side all okay more polish than anything really and a little bit of a mark on the left hand rear light lenses nice and clear on the left hand side as well across the back bumper no big dings or dents or major scratching where stuff gets put in the boot normally these plastics are quite fairly scratched but that's not the case with this one so the boot lid itself again nice and tidy a few little light surface scratches where it's been washed over the years no heavy scratching across the lip normally where the boot gets closed no heavy scratching across there and the odd little dent on the boot lid itself slightly heavier scratch here just starting to rust over a little bit on the boot lid so come down the left hand side around the fuel cap no heavy scratching around the fuel cap a few little marks in the paint itself on that rear quarter but again not too noticeable at all and a tiny little bit just starting at the back of the arch there but it hasn't broke through the head of the paint down the lower half section nice and tidy but again we have got some stone chips on the lower half down the passenger side a few little chips out the back edge of the door on the paint side of things there Nice and straight as we come to the top of the passenger door. No heavy scratching again around the handle. Wing wear cap, a couple of little scuffs on it, but again, no cracking. Nice and tidy. Nice and usable, this one, for the summer. Onto the passenger front wheel arch again. We've got some rust starting at the front of the passenger front wheel arch. But apart from that, again, all nice and shiny down that section there. Onto the interior now. Grey interior on this one door card itself warrants a little bit of a clean but no cracking to the plastic on the door card not too much heavy wear around the handle and nice and tidy around your window switches you can still see the auto is still there that hasn't been worn off anywhere the seat itself we've got some wear to the bolster but again the right amount of wear for the year in the mileage bit of cracking with some with some grime in it but no rips or tears still nice and firm a little bit grubby on the insert swab but again all nice and presentable very very usable Black carpet set throughout as well. No cracks to the dashboard at all. Nice and straight. The wood's good at the top on the left-hand side. No delamination. As you come down the centre console, we've got an aftermarket head unit fitted. But even the buttons and the dials are all nice and clear. Nice and tidy. No heavy scratching at all to them. A little bit of wear to the gear gate on the lower section there. And a little bit of wear to the armrest. Dials are lovely and clear. Easy to read there. You'll see 60876 on the mileage there. Steering wheel 
is in nice condition. Driver's seat folding forward as it should. And you'll see a bit of grubbiness to the rear seats, but not bad at all. Again, no rips or tears on the rear seats. It comes with a lovely factory colour colour turnover as well, which covers the, uh, the roof, which is nice to see it's still there. And it's got the cover for that in the boot. So all nice and tidy in the boot as well. Into the left-hand side front. Again, nice and tidy on the door card. No problems at all with that. No cracking. A little bit grubby nose, but again, not much, too wear, not too much wear to the handle there. Again, dashboard lovely and tidy and clean from the left-hand side. As we come down onto the passenger front seat again, we've got some wear to the bolts. So I'll go nice and slowly up there so you can have a good look at that. Bit of wear to the bolts there, a little bit of grubbiness on the actual seat itself. A good clean would square most of that away, but once again, no big rips or tears at all to that and we'll have a look at the seat again seat folding forward as it should have a look for the seat from the left hand side rear nice and tidy in there again wants a bit of a clean but no rips or tears into the engine bay now like i say it's a 1600 petrol five speed manual this one twin cam 16 valve all nice and tidy in there Strip tops look nice and clean on both sides james is going to fire it into life for us here a little bit of a squeak off a belt there, but firing into life. You can hear a slight exhaust blow. I can hear a slight exhaust blow there, but not bad at all. Nice, nice tick over there, no lumpy, not hunting. It's not hunting on idle there. Nice and smooth on the idle. What I'm gonna do is gonna drop the bonnet down here. James is gonna put the hammer on. The hammer has to be on for the roof to operate. It's on manual clips at the front as well, and the rest of it's all uh, done by a button. You fold it down manually. We'll go, we'll go back down as well, James, if you don't mind. Just so you can see it in full operation there. It's nice, no hesitation at all off that. And one more time back up. Unfortunately, James doesn't come with the car, but like I say, everything is for sale for a price. And it won't be too much money, to be honest with you. We'll have a look at the condition of the roof there. The roof itself, grey cloth roof. No rips or tears of that and see there. Nice and tidy on the back window, no cracking at all, all nice and taut, really nice condition that roof, no rips or tours anywhere, like I say, nice and tight across the leading edge, no sagging, really, really nice roof that one. And there you have it, the Rover 216 convertible with the electric working roof, good mileage, good colour, ready to be enjoyed this one, we've got the nice weather at the minute as well, let's cruise down the coast in that one.